Hey guys, Dan from Thrill Flies, and I wanted to show you guys something that I think is a great tool to have in your bag uh, when you go to race days and if you're a plane, you're going out into the field, you want to know what your battery is before you plug it in, before you fly, uh, and that is a Cell Master 8. This is what I use. Uh, this is a great one to have. Uh, it's got a few extra features on here which I absolutely love as well. So it's got your PPM output so you can adjust, you can check your servos, you can actually check ESCs, um, look, it, it, it's great. And um, so this will check your individual cells on your battery. Uh, and yeah, you just charge down, if you want to discharge your battery down to say yeah, 3.7 volts, um, you can do that with this as well. So I'm just going to plug this in. So all you do, this does up to an eight cell battery. I'm just going to plug it into the side here. This is a four cell. So I'm going to put negative to negative and then all the rest. So all right, so I know that this has a dead cell. I'm just going to run through them. It's got them at the top there. It tells you the full total voltage. And then I'm just going to click it through here. So cell one is 3.7. Cell two, I'm just going to 3.7. Uh, cell three, we've got 3.7. And cell four is pretty much nothing. So uh, that's a really good way just to check, check that. Um, what I'm going to do as well here, I'm going to check some servos. I've got some couple of little servos here. Um, I've got this little PDB board that I've done up. Um, I've just got a 5 volt BEC running off it and I've um, got my ESC soldered to it. ESC soldered to a good motor. I wanted to check this ESC because what this ESC has, it has a couple of um, uh, capacitors that are burnt out there and I, I, I'm a bit sus and I don't know if it works. I know that when I pulled it off the quad I wasn't real happy with it and I don't know whether to put it back on. So we're going to test it today. So. Um, let's do that. So I'll put these to the side. We'll check them in a moment. Um, I'm going to plug this in. So in the side here, you got your 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 five volt in. So you got your positive and you got your negative. The other one you don't need a signal, so that's crossed out there. Um, on this other side, which is the servo side, the PPM. So you got your signal, positive and negative. Uh, and on the side there, you just got your little little adjuster. So you got your wind it down towards the positive to get your higher PPM and you adjust it back if you want lower. So very, very simple. So let's plug that in. I'm just going to put it in the side here. So put negative to negative, positive to positive. Um, only runs 5 volts, so that's why I've got the back running off this little power distribution board. Alright, so plugged it in there. Um, it's powered up. Uh, now if you want to get into PPM mode, all you do is just um, He's got servo tester. You just hold that button in. Comes up with PPM there. Um, it's on the minimum, so it's um, it's got the 500 US. So we'll just put this servo one in. So you want to? Oh, I've got just positive and negative on here. Oh, sorry. I've just got the servo. Um, I've got the ESC negative, and I've got the um, PPM signal wire going to the ESC. So I'm just going to put the, the signal to signal. I don't actually need the earth on this because I've already got it earthed out. Um, the ESC earthed out with the um, power distribution board. So uh, we've got that all sorted out there. Uh, now we're going to start this up. All we're going to do is we're going to wind this up. We're going to see if this motor starts smoothly. If it doesn't, uh, we then know that this ESC isn't a good ESC. So let's do it. Let's wind this up. Alright, so here that is it's playing up a bit. Yeah, we're gonna go up higher, yeah. Alright, so it the ESC is working, but it's not working very well, especially on a startup, so I'll lower it back down. Righto. So that that's just it on idle, so you can adjust your your PPM input um, to your motor. Uh, so that's just a really cool feature that I think that this has got. So we'll go right up. See where it is, so you go right to 2000. Um, I'm going to go back down here. So, if you want to adjust your max throttle, say on beta flight, um, you want to know what what to set your max throttle threshold to. So, you don't want it too high because you can't control your quad because you, your motor can't spin higher than the, um, the, the KV output, say. So, um, most, a lot of the times I'm running the 2300, 2400 KV, so I usually set mine to say 1900 um, for my max throttle. 
And um, so we'll see where it stops here, and I'll show you what I mean. So right, we're going to go up. You'll hear it, hear the motor not go anymore. All right, so it's, it's stopped there. It can't spin anymore. So the 2300 kb. So I'm going to bring this back. Well, you hear that start dropping now down there. So it's at 1829. So you want to set your max throttle in beta flight at 1800. So that way you've got full control of your quad all the time. So there you can see it just drops down there. So that's that's a really good way to if you wanted to know what to set your uh, max throttle to. But uh, now we'll keep going on. So that's that's working okay. We know that ESC is not working real good on startup. So we're going to unplug that. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to test this servo. So I'll put it down to the minimum there. Plug this in. Servo gone to where it should. So it's at, it's too low at the moment. So I'm just going to lift it up to where. All right. So yeah. So you can check to see if your servo is turning. Uh, it gives you your inputs there. So that's working good. All right. So we'll check this other bigger one so you can see. I'll just bring it back. That's right. All right. So I'll put that here because this is. Oh, jeez. Bring that back up here. All right. So we're just going to test this one now. Probably should hold it. All right. So that's working great. Now you know that that servo is working. Um, you're testing it. You can see your values on here. So that's great. Um, and then another feature that this has got. So we've tested the servos. We've tested the ESC. Now we want to discharge the battery. So what you do, click on the, hold the um, type down, and you can go into discharging here should be here somewhere there you go you got your discharging volt so got a 3.7 if i want to bring my volt down to 3.7 <clears throat> that's all i do and that will just slowly drain them down so um that's not a function that i really use so but it's just cool to have that feature there so this here is a really cool thing to have um, I, i'll put a link to it in um, my descriptions down below um, yeah and i get this from at fbv um, addicted to fbv so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little video, like and subscribe, and um, yeah, hope you get out and go flying. Alright, happy flying.